Good afternoon, Husky Pups. Here is Miss Batone with your virtual field trip of the day. Once again, I use my Bitmoji to give you a clue. Hmm, a map with an X. X marks the spot. Where are we going to take a trip to today? Our second clue, based on my Bitmoji, where is our virtual field trip today. Let's look at Miss Batone. It looks like there's a whale, a sea animal involved, and a little bit of water. Sounds like fun. Have you guessed it yet, third grade? If you guessed an aquarium, you are correct. So once again, I'm going to my epic collection. In the book I'm going to share with you today, Animal Helpers Aquariums. You won't need a snorkel and mask in here. In an aquarium, you can trek through millions of gallons of fresh and salt water, but you won't get wet. I love aquariums. Walk rather than swim by amazing aquatic creatures in tanks and exhibits. Visit animals born at the aquarium like this penguin chick and little fish. See mammals like these sea otters and this sea lion. Learn about reptiles like this sea turtle who was rescued in the wild. So once again, Husky Pups, notice our text features. We have pictures with captions. Lots of people work in aquariums such as aquarists, biologists, curators, and volunteers. They care for creatures found all over the world. From those that swim near the tops of lakes, to those that dive into the ocean's depths. So in order for an aquarium to operate, it takes a lot of different skilled people. At the aquarium, you can get a close-up look at animals and underwater plants. Some of these you may have only read about or heard of, like this exotic seahorse and these jellyfish. One of the video cams I'm going to show you today has jellyfish from an aquarium in California. Aquariums hold saltwater and freshwater animals. This hammerhead shark, tiny octopus, and enormous manta ray come from the salty ocean. These fishes come from freshwater rivers and lakes. So some of the fish on the right side are fish that live in waters near us. In an aquarium, you can see huge finned fish, and very tiny fish. Love these pictures. You can find cold weather animals and warm water fish. Of course, we know one of our favorite animals, the penguin. Look at the fish up in the right corner. Look at all of those beautiful different colors. Awesome. Aquarium staff may research little known species like the beluga whale and the whale shark. They also work with kids to conserve a species at risk like the sturgeon. Aquarium workers help us learn more about animals, where they live in the wild and how we can help them. So if you wanna work in an aquarium, you have to know a lot about these sea creatures. Would you like to work in an aquarium? Another favorite illustration of mine. Could you transport whale sharks, work in a water quality lab, or feed sea otters? Would you like to teach a sea lion? Could you train river otters and dolphins? If you worked in an aquarium, you might save an otter, treat a sick electrical eel, or listen to a newborn penguin's heartbeat. I've always loved dolphins. So if you love animals, you might be able to work in an aquarium someday. Could you release a curd sea turtle back into the ocean? Would you research sharks and help alligators? Look to this picture to the right, an albino American alligator, definitely an endangered species. Would you like to work in an aquarium? Get to know these animals now participate in citizen science programs, volunteer, become a junior keeper, 
Your experience and work with professionals will help you decide which animal helper job is best for you. And that is our book. So the first video I'm going to show you is right where I have pulled all of these videos all week from the website, wideopenschool.org. The Monterey Bay Aquarium. This is the one that I said is located in California. And here is the jelly cam. So we'll just look at that. Bigger for you. So take a couple moments just to watch how fascinating these cool creatures are. Awesome third grade. Wouldn't you love to go to this aquarium? I actually went to it about five to six years ago when I was out in California. It's one of the best aquariums in the world. Now I'm going to stop this live cam and I'm going to show you back in Epic where we have all of our books, we also have some great videos. So I'm going, once again, just to remind you, we have the virtual field trip collection. And on this collection, we have some great videos down here. So I am going to, there's actually three different ones I'm just, just going to show you one right now. This is 
so scaly. Also, another video, wasn't that cool? That was a pretty unique aquarium. Like I said, I have lots of videos on here. There's actually another to do on how to make some slime from an aquarium that I think is really cool. So now I'm going to go back to our projects. I would like you to create your own under the sea artwork. And I have some examples to the left. We just saw some jellyfish. So you could use paints, markers, you could cut out some strips of paper and you could make a jellyfish. And of course, we can't do an under the sea artwork without a cool shark project. So I thought this was simple things that you probably have at home that you could make some shark artwork. And then also, I know I'm one of those parents that has tons of pipe cleaners at home just laying around. To the left, you could create like a coral reef and you can draw your own little Nemo fish and kind of have them sticking out of the pipe cleaners and that would make a really cool 3D effect. Also, if your mom or dad has an empty egg, car egg carton, you could color or paint it blue put a little glitter into it, and you could add some seashells and make an ocean in an egg carton. I thought that was super cool. One other art project, I actually did this a couple years ago when Serena had a little mermaid birthday party theme, is I took a canvas and I painted it and I actually drew a mermaid. So you could do a mermaid under the sea or you could just make a canvas and make it blue and draw any of the fish that we saw today, the stingray, the jellyfish, we read about dolphins, we actually saw some alligators in the video. And like I said, there are two other videos on Epic 
of some other aquariums that those girls go to. So go ahead and check them out. And don't forget to post all of your pictures on Class Dojo so I could see the awesome things that you're doing that go along with all of our virtual field trips.